everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie, I'm just back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make delicious chicken and rice soup. This soup right here, oh, it's bomb. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, you make a Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my chicken and rice soup before. I'm gonna make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is some chicken. Now listen here, when you're making something like a chicken soup, a chicken rice soup, use any kind of chicken that you love. Uh, originally, I wanted to use some chicken wings and I wanted to use some chicken thighs, but we couldn't find any wings. So I have some all thighs here and I'm going to show you something really interesting that we're going to do so that we can get the most flavor. So I got some beautiful chicken thighs here that I have washed off with lemon juice, salt, and cold water, and then we've packed them dry. You're gonna need some vegetables to make everything nice and beautiful, and also to give it some nice flavor. So right here we have my favorite, the green bell pepper. You will also need a nice sweet Vidalia onion. We got some gorgeous celery here. We got one huge clove of garlic, and if you don't have a big clove of garlic, just use a couple pieces. And then also we have um, some fresh carrot. You will need some chicken broth, but for some reason, if you can't find chicken broth or you can't get a hold of it, just use some water and I'll tell you how you could spice up your water to make a chicken broth. And then, of course, you're gonna need one of the stars, which is our rice. So we have some rice here to go into our soup and a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need this way. You will need some red pepper flakes. Now. Anytime I use red pepper flakes, they're definitely optional. And then we're not trying to burn anybody's socks off, you know, just enough to fill in the back of the palate, just a little bit of spice. Not, not too much to where we want people on fire, you know, because we don't. Okay, so now we're going to be using some Italian seasoning that's going to really make this nice and bright and give us an amazing flavor. And then we're going to use some parsley flakes just to make it nice and beautiful. Some garlic and onion powder. And I don't have my black pepper, but we will be using some and some salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we've already washed off our chicken, like I said, using some lemon juice, some salt, and some cold water. And then we've pat our chicken dry. If I were to use chicken wings, of course you would leave the skin on. But what I would do is chop the chicken wings down into wingette pieces, okay? But now, as far as our chicken thighs, I'm gonna take the skin off of a couple and leave the skin on a couple. And these are also bone-in chicken, um, chicken thighs. Now, it's important that you use the bone when you want a great soup, and it's important that you also use the skin. You know, the skin is going to give great flavor, but I also feel like if you use a little too much skin, then your broth is going to be kind of oily, and that's not what we're looking for. We are not looking for oily broth. We're looking for a very flavorful broth that is going to taste simply amazing so here's what i like to do we're gonna go in and get rid of that fat you all know what fat looks like see that's what the fat looks like we're gonna discard it and we're gonna clean the underneath side and then we will be rinsing it a second time okay so that's how i like to you know get the skin off of the thigh just like so and a couple of them like i said keep in mind i'm going to keep the skin on because it's going to give our broth great flavor so i'm going to do this and i'll be right back okay so we've washed the chicken a second time and we've taken off three of the skins and left three on just like so now i'm going to be using my handy dandy wok here that you all love this is a wolfgang puck collection wok and it's just called a flat bottom wok everybody asks me where i got it from it was a gift from my father and i got it years and years and years and years ago i don't know where he purchased it from but i know it came in a wolfgang puck uh you know pot and pan collection okay so we're putting the chicken in just like so and we don't have any water we don't have any spices 
or anything in this walk right now. But what we are gonna do is let's go ahead and take this time to start to cut up some veggies. All of these veggies have been washed with cold water. I'm gonna cut the ends off just like so. And you make sure when you're washing your celery off, really take the time to wash it, you know, because there is sand or, you know, and mud inside of your celery. When I'm making this chicken and rice soup, I really like to make nice, thick pieces of celery, just like so in this manner. Okay, let me grab a plate. Listen here, I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever heard of chicken rice soup? If you never heard of it or you never tried to make it yourself, you're definitely in for a treat because one, number one, it's so easy to make and the taste, amazing. It's starting to get cold everywhere and I feel like this is just like the perfect recipe for this weather. So now that we have the celery cut, let's go ahead and cut some bell pepper. You know me, you know here at the Young's house we love our bell peppers and we're going to put bell peppers in just about anything we cook right <laughs> i know a lot of you are laughing like yeah i know that's right she loves bell peppers you bet we do and it has great health properties as well so we're just going to give this a rough chop just like so okay and when i come back i'll show you what to do next check it out everybody got the goods we got the bell peppers we got the celery and we got the onions cut with no tears. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for that. <laughs> so now I, I tend to like to use these. Sometimes you'll see me use, you know, the other uh, carrots that you have to peel. But normally I'll go towards a frozen carrot or this carrot. And what I like to do is kind of cut it on an angle. You know, just like that. And I'm not going to use a lot of carrots in mine because those of you that are familiar with me, you would know that I'm not a fan of carrots. But if I ever feel like a recipe needs to have it in there, oh, I'm going to put it in there because I don't want to shortcut everybody else just because I don't like carrots. You know, I'm going to put some in there, but I'm not going to put too much. Okay. Now, when I come back, I'll get started on our um, garlic and I'm just going to give it a rough chop just like so. I want you all to keep in mind that several times after dealing with the chicken, I have washed my hands several times. So now our garlic, get you some in there. All we have in the pan right now is chicken and fresh garlic, but here's what we're gonna do. Let's put a couple of the carrots in there for our broth. But then later, more carrots are going to go in, but they're all not going in right now. Because if you turn around and put all your veggies in right now, you're going to kind of mess the recipe up. We want to make a beautiful stock, and the beautiful stock is going to need the veggies. We're putting celery, bell pepper, and onions, okay, but not all of it, okay? Let me grab some of that bell pepper. Gorgeous, okay, and we're set until, you know, until a little later. So now we're gonna go in with our beautiful chicken broth. And like I said, if you don't have chicken broth, um, you can make a chicken broth by using the chicken powder. And I'm gonna show you the chicken powder that I like to use, which is a Maggi Pollo. And if you don't have Maggi Pollo, you could definitely use a bouillon cube. Absolutely you could. So I'm using two 32 um, ounce chicken broths. Okay, and I'll grab the chicken powder to show you how you would make a chicken stock if you don't have a chicken broth on hand. Now, some of you might say, but Gina, aren't you literally like making chicken broth? You bet we are. Absolutely we are. But I like to, um, although we're making a chicken stock right now with all of these ingredients, I like to use the broth instead of water. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. There's your chicken powder. You all have seen me use the Maggi Pollo. That's it right there. Okay, great, great, great flavors right there. So now we're gonna go ahead and season. Red pepper flakes if you want. If you don't want, don't put any in. Italian seasoning right away. Gorgeous. Okay, parsley, because we want everything to be nice and beautiful. Garlic powder, don't be shy with it. You need it. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Onion powder and some salt. Not a lot of salt. 
Okay, we're gonna turn this up on medium high till everything comes up to a nice boil. Those chicken thighs are gonna get well done. The meat is gonna be falling off the bone. And when I come back, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. It gets interesting. Now, what we are gonna do next is start on our rice. Now, some people like to throw the rice right in with their boiling chicken. We're not gonna do it that way. I like to use the boil in a bag rice. I'm gonna use two bags of rice, and I'm gonna, you cook the rice for 11 minutes to get it perfect, okay? And, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it for about between seven and eight minutes so that it's half cooked, okay? And then when it goes into our broth, it can continue to cook. That water right there has been salted. Anytime you're making potatoes, rice, or noodles, you always salt it so that you can give it flavor. Like I said, that rice only needs 11 minutes. Let's cook it for seven to eight minutes since it's gonna continue to cook in our gorgeous chicken broth. When I come back, I'll show you what to do next. And right here, this is for the babies. This is for Prince and Polo. They have, ooh, that's hot. They have two chicken thighs that's boiling. There's no salt, there's no seasoning. And today for their dinner, they're gonna have pulled chicken thighs and they're gonna have carrots. So now we're just gonna wait patiently and I'm sitting right over here, waiting on my chicken and my rice to cook right by the fire. And I'm really just kinda sitting back and relaxing and enjoying the afternoon. So I figured, while I wait, I might as well do something, something else. <laughs> I just didn't want to sit down and wait. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw together some really quick, delicious cornbread. Like, I mean, like, who doesn't love cornbread? We love it here at the Young's House. And when I make it, I like to experiment. Sometimes you'll see me put like whole kernel corn into the cornbread, sometimes you'll see me like today, I'm gonna put some shredded cheese in there and it's gonna be amazing. I did put like just a little pinch of sugar in there, but we really want that cheese in it today. Okay, so this is just a three cheese uh, mixture and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put, I did put a tad bit of uh, vegetable oil in my mix as well. We're gonna put two eggs and some milk. And honestly, when I put my milk in, I, I, I don't measure the milk. I just throw it in, you know. And when it comes to making cornbread, when you mix up, oops, when you mix up your, your uh, cornbread, it's okay if it's lumpy. Because when you throw it into the oven and it starts to bake it up, it's just fine. All right, so now let's get this mixed up just like so in this manner. Oh, and also the rice, we took it out at seven minutes. Perfect. It's not fully cooked, but that's what we want. And we want that because like I said, we're gonna to continue to cook that rice in with that chicken stock, okay? Our chicken stock has the whole house smelling amazing. So I know like if the Amazon people, <laughs> if they happen to come to the door and drop off, you know, like a package or something, they're gonna be like, man, like the front door smells delicious because it does, it smells so good. I was in the basement and you could literally just, sm you could smell this beautiful broth all over the house. So now that I have this nice and mixed up just like so, the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna put my cornbread in an oven of 350 degrees until it's nice, beautiful, and golden brown. When it comes out, I wanna get it nice and buttered. For those of you, I know when I showed the two uh, chicken thighs that I was boiling, a lot of you right now, I know I can hear you saying, who is Prince and Polo? Well, Prince and Polo are, are two morky puppies, and they are so spoiled. They happen to love boiled chicken, so that's who I was saying I'm going to give the uh, boiled chicken thighs and some carrots to today. So that'll be their dinner. Look at that. Clean up in the kitchen as you go, and I promise you, you will be stress-free. Look at that. Like, come on, you have to clean up. It's stress-free, I promise. <laughs> Our chicken is almost done, so what we will be doing is we're going to be turning the pan off. Once we get this pan turned off, we're gonna wait a minute for the chicken to cool down just for, you know, maybe a good 10 minutes to where we can handle it. Because what I wanna do is I wanna take all of the beautiful meat off of the bone. 
I want to get rid of the extra skin and the bone, and then we're going to throw all that chicken meat that we've shredded back into our pot. We'll do that when I come back. So our chicken is done. We're getting ready to pull the meat off, take the skin, you know, pull the meat apart, take the skin off and take the bone out. And we are left with this gorgeous broth. This broth is everything. And guess what? I tried the broth and because I wanted to taste it to see if it needed any extra seasoning, guess what? It didn't, it's so good. You could just drink that alone. That's how tasty it is. So now we're gonna go in and put in some carrots for those that love carrots. Like I said, I typically don't put a lot in. Just some here and there so you can see it, you know. And so they can eat some. <laughs> I don't want too many of them though. We're gonna put the bell peppers, all right. I got sticker on there. We're gonna put the onion and a couple of pieces of celery, just like so. And by the time we're done taking all that meat off, we're going to reincorporate it back into this broth. And guess what we have? Chicken soup. You can leave it that way or you can do like I'm doing today. We're going to make chicken and rice soup by adding the pre-cooked rice into this broth. When I come back, look at this right here. It's like I've taken all the meat off of the bone and taken the skin off. We have meat for days. And what I didn't do on purpose is I don't want to shred it up really fine. We want big chunks of meat in our chicken and rice soup. Let's make our way back over to the larger stove. Let's put this thing together. Look at that. In we go with our beautiful chicken, just like so. <laughs> Woo, and those veggies we put in last, they don't have to cook long. You don't want to cook them until they turn into mush. You know, put the desired amount, however much, rice you like to put in yours now i mean this is chicken and rice soup so you got to have some rice in there come on you want something hearty you want something that's going to stick to your bones and keep you nice and warm through this winter this right here oh it's definitely the recipe and our cornbread is done and i'm going to let you see that butter melt all down that beautiful cornbread just like so look at this let's get closer oh Oh my goodness, perfect. Gina Young style chicken and rice, make you so. Oh, chicken and rice soup. Here's our cornbread. Let's go ahead and butter it. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to your family and friends and everyone you know, to the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. And also, let's say a prayer because when I come back, we're going to take a bite. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for blessing over our day. We thank you, Lord, for loving and protecting us. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again, to my beautiful prayer, take a look at this chicken soup chicken soup gina young style make you some it's way too hot for me to taste but look at that go ahead and sneak a bite look at the carrots and the celery and the onions the chicken has so much flavor in the broth <laughs> Woo! listen here there's a whole different story with that broth that broth has so much flavor and as always god bless you all thank you all for watching god bless Good night.